All right, with uh, that part out of the way, we can try to lighten the mood a bit, get to talking about what we usually talk about, um, minus the Kingdom Hearts stuff. Um, but the world ends with you comes out tomorrow. Yes, and we can talk about that. And we can talk about that next show <laughs> once I assume you'll probably have played it by the. See, I don't know. That's a that's a big gasp. I don't know if I'm gonna. You don't, don't know. know? I don't know. I played the I played the demo on a PlayStation Five, and it was it was it was fine. It was the more the world ends with you, which after the reviews have come out today, apparently isn't as a uh, new person welcoming as I thought it was going to be. Yeah. It's just like a remaster, isn't it? No, no. Oh, is it a new game? It's, it's a completely new game. Oh shit! I didn't know that. Okay. And apparently, it is a flat out sequel, and it's not one of those oh new people can jump in if they want to sequel. Yeah, nah. New people are gonna get fucked. <laughs> <laughs> apparently, from what be because uh, like because like apparently this game's getting anywhere from like ten out of tens to like seven out of out of tens. It's like one of those games where either you like you fucking adore it or people are just kind of met on it. But the major consensus is if you didn't play the first game, you're going to be kind of fucked. <laughs> Isn't that first game still just trapped on the original DS? No, no, no. no they, Switch they, they yeah, the they phone. remaster it for switch. So you, you oh, are okay. right. There is a remaster. It's not okay. a good port though. Yeah. I played not, the switch port. <laughs> you should play the DS easy. version if you can. How, it, how is it a bad port? Is it because it doesn't have that dual screen yes. stuff that did it rely yeah. on that? It's yeah. also and the mobile version. They point they port the mobile version onto Switch. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's because the mobile version had an extra uh had an extra chapter to the end that leads into the sequel. Mm -hmm. It was one of those when it came out okay. where like it, it kind of hinted towards the sequel, but no one thought they were going to do it. Well, Nomura, who's the uh, production director on the sequel, he, he he's not actively working on the sequel, but he's a production director on it. He's confirmed that that and that like extra epilogue added on to the mobile and the Switch version. That's a flat out reference and leads into what the sequel is. So, yeah, if you didn't play the first game, apparently you're not going to have a great time. Amanda Mora knows how to make make some real uh I I was gonna say I don't want to say convoluted, but convoluted works, but for this situation I would say interesting. He knows how to make some interesting stuff, even though he's if he's not like directly involved. Yeah, um, I mean I don't don't quote me on his direct involvement. I just know that he was the character designer for this game or helped worked on the characters. And he was the production director, because let's be real, he's probably working on 7 Remake 2 or something. I don't know what Namor is doing nowadays. He has like 5 Kingdom Hearts projects, 7 Remake 2, probably a sequel to Bad Bad Children somewhere in there. I don't know. Namor is doing whatever the fuck he wants to do. And you know what? Good, good, good for him. But I am kind of dis disappointed that this isn't like a game you can jump into, because getting mm -hmm. the DS version is kind of hard to get now. It's kind of expensive. Uh, so, still, yeah, like, it's or go ahead, Altma. I, I was just going to say it would be real helpful because, you know, it's been over a decade since the last game came out to have a game that, you know, draws people in so you, we can get more games. But if it's like even harder to get people into without the first <laughs> game, I don't know. So, so yeah. do we already know that if you if you haven't played that first one, you're just going to be totally lost yeah. in the second? Uh, a bunch of reviewers who, because the embargo dropped today, a bunch of reviewers have said that they're like, if you have not played the first game, there's going to be a lot that goes over your head. My guess is like returning characters probably. And like a bunch of like plot things that hinted in the first game. My guess is they just like, whoop, they just kind of were like, all right, we get to finally make a sequel to this. We're going to touch on all the shit that left on a cliffhanger in the first game, which was a lot. People forget there was a lot that was left in the first game. So like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, thankfully, I uh I I didn't finish the first game. I got about halfway through it. So, I get I I'll I'll gladly report on how much stuff I don't understand once I start playing this. What, yeah, I what mean, concessions did they make for that um for for the port of the or I guess the remaster or whatever? That it was fine like cuz like the game lives on its dual screen functionality. Like that was the whole point of the first game. Yeah, the way the combat worked really focused on the dual screen stuff and like, yeah, yeah. 
And the fact that Switch is only one screen <laughs> kind of like defeats the purpose of it. And like it's a fine port. It looks pretty. It still sounds good. The soundtrack still fucking slaps. And it's like it's a good game, but when you take out the one thing that made that game interesting, which was its dual screen, it just becomes just a quirky JR JRPG. What if it's Nintendo like put out an Disney from Kingdom Hearts? Like what the fuck's Kingdom Hearts then? <laughs> what if Nintendo put out an adapter that you can put two switches Slap a second on top of each other with <laughs> just have like a freaking uh USB C <laughs> just plug them in together. They have just just one big giant DS. Uh, so how the is, fuck are you gonna hold that? What do you have? Monster hands? It, it's gonna be like this, like grip or whatever. So you have no, a wait, switch actually, on the me. bottom. And then do you have Yowie hands? Can your Yowie hands hold that screen? <laughs> Please tell me that, that that's not what it, I think it sounds like. Uh, I'll tell you later. <laughs> is that one one hand on the game, one hand on the? No. <laughs> All right. Very quick history lesson: Old Yaoi novels and manga from the early two thousands drew their characters with crazy long proportions, and they had giant hands. Don't ask me why. Oh, okay, Abby's laughing, I, she probably gets the joke. You're talking Yaoi, but you also said large proportions. <laughs> <laughs> well, because their limbs were like hella long, and they had like long like legs, and it was very weird. It was it was a weird time. Okay, so we're just talking the legs, not nothing else. Yeah, no, no, no. Literally limbs, just like arms and legs and hands were like weirdly proportioned. Because I don't know. I guess people wanted really pretty yaoi boys. I don't. I don't know. But like the hands were very large, so you're so you're gonna need yaoi boy hands to like use that. You know what they thing. say about large hands? Yeah, large gloves. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. But yeah, mm -hmm. it's it just. I mean, I'm still probably gonna buy the world ends with you because I, I I put demos. That's cool. The game looks really pretty. Uh, but like, yeah, it really depresses me to hear that this game isn't very welcoming to people who've never played the original. Because I feel like this is the one way to get into this series, the easiest way, and to hear like, oh, good luck. It's like, well. Oh, also, apparently, the Switch version's glitchy as hell. Yeah, that's what oh, I was really? gonna say. Is apparently there's a bunch of bugs and like crashes in the Switch version. Like so is enemies it like jumping out of bounds, or? so oh. you can't kill them, and you get soft locked. Uh, crashes. Yeah, I've I've like I, I've like heard of crashing a lot on the Switch. It seems like the the PS version is might be the way to go in terms of performance and everything. Is it a PS4 game or PS5? It's a PS4 game. I don't know. Yeah, if it's okay. I don't think it has it. any PS5. Yeah, yeah. I don't think it has any PS5 upgrades. I think it's just PS4 that, you know, is up. You can play okay. on the PS5. So basically, if you're not going to play that remaster, like, don't bother with the second one? Nope. Is this There's an anime that's supposed to come out the end of the year that's a retelling of the first game. And Nomura has gone on record saying to watch that instead. <laughs> I, I was talking to um to blank like I, this this is tangentially related, where uh, she was trying to catch up uh, story wise back to where she left off on Danganronpa because she she had previously got into I believe the fourth case in that game, and she just kind of forgot it's been years since she's played it, so I, I believe she was asking if she should just like watch the anime up to that point. I'm just like oh no 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 the the anime of Danganronpa is not good. Like, no don't don't, don't do, do that. that. <laughs> so uh, sh she just watched, uh, I believe, a couple Let's Plays just to kind of get caught back up. So I, I do hope that the uh, World Ends With You's uh, anime is, is fairly the good. The anime looks just like the game. Like, the anime literally shares the same art style as the game does. It's okay. And also, they flat out said it's a retelling of the first game. It just has characters from the epilogue that was added in, in the anime, like, seamlessly put into the story. To help the epilogue make more sense. I don't know and why that, Crunchyroll that, has the rights to it. I, think. I don't know why that that reminds me. They they have a really there's a really good anime of uh, Persona Four, and then it is a very because, good anime. I can because, I can also confirm because Golden Persona Four Golden came out on Vita <laughs> in like what 2011 or 12, and so they made another anime version Persona Four Golden, which I haven't watched, but from from what I know. It's like an even more condensed version of that existing anime, but with some extra tidbits thrown in there for um, uh, for Marie. Yeah, it's well, that's basically what the world ends with you anime is supposedly is it's just a retelling of the first game 
with the epilogue characters put in, and Nomura's gone on record saying that the anime leads directly into Neo, which is the sequel. So, but the anime's not out yet. <laughs> I, I know I haven't. I know I haven't played that first one, but honestly, one of my favorite things about the Persona Four anime is that it took plenty of liberties and just adding things that were absolutely not in that game. So I think for like maybe even just like returning fans that haven't played the first game, it could overall be more interesting for them. But I don't know. I mean, I know I'm still going to watch it and I'll buy the game eventually because uh, I, I don't know. Maybe I'll go tomorrow and buy it. I don't fucking know. But like it's I mean, it's the world ends with you if you like and maybe that could agree with me. If you like quirky JR, J, JRPGs uh, and you want very Nomura ass Nomura char- characters, that's what the world ends with you is. It's got a super interesting combat system. If if Kingdom Hearts wasn't your jam, but Nomura still interested interest you as a developer, play the world ends with you. I have had, I've had multiple friends who are not into Kingdom Hearts, but like Nomura's like weird style of storytelling and characters, and played the world ends with you and fell in love. For what so, it's like, worth, I'm I'm looking at eBay right now. Like if people really want the DS version, um, it's not that expensive there's there's a couple for 25 bucks for buy it now um so yeah, if that's a better way to play it it's 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 not like crazy expensive yeah i, th- I think the remaster helped a little bit with that too yeah the re the remaster helped it drop it price but nice. yeah the one see you tomorrow that's gonna be cool great ace attorney slaps. <laughs> great ace attorney comes out tomorrow too Ooh, you know what? Yeah, this I, I, this week's fool. I forgot about that. I I really want to play that, but I still haven't beaten the uh, third game in the first uh, HD trilogy they put out. You should like, do that. The third game's finale is amazing. You have to finish it. See, I I love the first game. Even that weird um, DS uh, bonus episode they did, which kind of messes up some of the storytelling in two and three, apparently. Mm-hmm. Um. Two was rough for me. Two had some really obtuse uh, ways to, to solve puzzles and everything. I'm just like that. That kind of killed my motivation to continue. No, but so I, like three is the good one. Like like three okay. is my favorite of the entire series. Uh, like like two is definitely not high in the list. Like one and three, I think, are the best. I really liked four, but it's also not. Uh, everyone's bag of tea and I understand why um, so I I'm really excited to to finally play Great Aid's Attorney because um, apparently it's supposed to be like really good and have some cases that are high up in, in terms of quality and uh, everyone says it, it's they're some of the best in the, the series as well um, I think it's a good time for detective games and uh, you know what I don't think I told you or maybe I, I did um, so you and me, big Danganronpa fans, mm-hmm. uh, people have been recommending to me, um, a zero escape for years. And I finally grabbed them on the steam summer. So I haven't touched them yet, but, uh, very much anticipating diving into that. It's a lot the of first murder, two games of are very good. Is the third one? Not very good. The third one is a game. It is a game. It is a definitely a game. <laughs> okay okay I'll, I'll say this real quick blaine if you are listening i'm not going to explicitly spoil anything but just maybe tune out for like 30 seconds i uh, okay i had to explain the difference between v3 and three and that one is a game <laughs> one is a movie and that if you're going to watch three and if you're going to play despair girls you're significantly better off playing that before V3. If you're going to touch them, because if you play V3, you're probably not going to want to after. Yeah, yeah, no, I, yeah. Wasn't one of the Zero Escape games playable on a uh, browser? Wasn't it 999? Because I, I, I swear so, they released one of them on browser free. There, there, I don't know. There, there is a PC version of them. I don't know if there was ever a browser version. I think it might have been Japanese only because I swear to God they had put like the first hour of 999 on browser, like on the game's official website. I mean, it's mostly a visual novel. It's mostly a visual novel with puzzles. So like it it works. Yeah. Performance is like like too. 
I swear they did it back when the collection came out. They like did it as like a promotion to where you could play the first hour on on browser. Because I don't know why I'm remembering this. Like this is like strictly coming to my head that I swear I tried it out. Like I played like ten minutes of it and I was like, Ew. I have question for you. <laughs> oh, oh. No, go ahead. Uh, oh, just, okay. So I could. So I actually had some experience with the first game in the series in that my, I guess, ex brother in law, like he like he had the original game on DS. Why? Why is it not called uh, Zero Escape? Why is it called Nine People Nine? I, I forget the title. It, it's, it's just three. It's, nines. A, it's a w- weird name. So I so nine 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 was originally um, I think it was originally a standalone. And I think Zero Escape became like a subtitle for it once it became like a series. Okay. Um, Because like, I think the second game, if I remember correctly, the second game was just called Virtue's Last Reward for a little while. And then they added the Zero Escape uh, title to it as to like, get everything condense everything together i i I, i'm not super familiar with why i i know i used to know and now Mm -hmm. i'm uh it's been a while since i've talked about it yeah because because at least the way they're bundled on steam i guess the first two games are under uh the nonary games and then the third one's just zero time dilemma oh well well, let's uh i thought they all went together really quick like i thought it was like a trilogy of games it is, it is a trilogy but i think the the first the first game the first the first it, it's a trilogy in the sense of like say like pirates of the caribbean where like the first game is very its own thing and could just be a single game mm-hmm. but then the second and third games are make it a trilogy sort of you okay. know and I the, the the character zero who is behind the the games is like the through thread through all the games, and that's why it ended up being the zero escape series. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Is zero as interesting as Monokuma? No. Ah, oh, damn. Mon- Monokuma is still reigning champion, but 